Well, I guess this is the place. Gecko had answered an anonymous call to come and find Romeo. The PJ Masks had been trying to find him to capture him and put him in jail. But this night, the other two PJ Masks weren't available, so Gecko came by himself. Yeah, huh, this door is locked. Well, how else can I get in here? Huh, maybe over on this side. Wait a minute, is that a cannon? Uh-oh. Ah! The cannon shot Gecko back into the water. Uh-oh, I better get out of here before something bad happens to me. But right as he said that, something bad did happen. A crocodile showed up. Oh no, n -n 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 nice crocodile. Ah, ah, ah! Suddenly Gecko tripped on something. Yeah! Or I should say someone, it was Romeo. Ha! Romeo, I knew you were going to be here. You're under an arrest. I'm taking you to jail. But Romeo didn't seem to be the least bit scared. <laughs> I don't think so. And up walked, oh no. It was Luna Girl, Romeo's sometime accomplice. She levitated Gecko up. <laughs> help, 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 help. And with the Luna Magma, levitated him right into the cage. Oh no, not the cage. Whoa. And before Gecko knew it, he was stuck inside the Briggs. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I better activate the homing beacon. Then I'll let Catboy can find me. Now back at HQ, it was a peaceful night. Oh, I don't know where Gecko is, but I think I'm going to go to bed. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Just then, an alarm sounded. Uh-oh, what's that alarm? Quick, control center, show me who's in trouble. So the controller went through until it finally landed on Gecko. Oh no, Gecko's in trouble? No wonder he's not here. We gotta go save him. Uh, I'll let Gecko is stuck in some type of beachy pirate area or something. Quick, we gotta go grab him. Let's take your owl glider. It'll probably be easier to get there. And so, Owlette and Catboy took off, hoping to rescue Gecko. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, getting a little dizzy. You can stop that and just let me rest. Luna Girl had been swinging Gecko's cage back and forth ever since he'd been captured. When suddenly, Owlette and Catboy showed up. Oh, Owlette, I see him. I see Gecko. He's gotten himself in that cage. Uh-oh, no more time for games for Luna Girl. And she quickly caught Owlette and Catboy in the owl glider. Oh no, it's Luna Girl. Oh, she's pulling us in and gonna make us crush. Owlette and Catboy crashed onto the beach and suddenly she started to levitate Catboy. Oh no, no! Catboy was levitated right up to the skeleton's mouth and it opened. Oh no, no, not in there! And Catboy was swallowed up inside. But he had really just slid down into a gel and back. Next, it was Owlette's turn. So Luna Girl charged up the magnet one last time and levitated her up and up and up and brought her right over to the fort's anchor. And she hooked her feet right upside down and Owlette was stuck. It looks like Owlette had taken care of all three of the PJ masks, but she forgot about one thing. That pesky crocodile! It came up and bit her right on the leg, which she jumped back and accidentally shot straight up, which shot straight into Owlette and caused the anchor and her to go flying, where then Owlette flew straight into Gecko's cage and both went falling down, where they both fell on Luna Girl and the crocodile. And just like that, Gecko was free, Luna Girl lost her magnet, and Owlette was free. Owlette grabbed the Luna magnet and levitated Luna Girl. And of course, she ended up in the bricks, just like Gecko had been. Next, they came to free Catboy. And as for Romeo, well, let's just say they had some special plans for him. Uh, hey guys, if you let me down from here, I'll do your homework free for a year. Yeah, come on. Hey, thanks for watching. The toy featured in this video is the brand new Imaginex Blackbeard's Lair. Now this comes from the Pirate series where there's all sorts of things you can collect. Probably the biggest ones are this playset 
And then we have this awesome like shark metal pirate ship thing. We've I've already reviewed this. This is super cool. We have this awesome alligator right here. Then we have this metal shark and I think this like bone skiff here. There are tons of features that we can use or see with this. I think we got this cannon that shoots. It's gonna shoot out of the eye. We've got an awesome cage and everything. So tons of fun stuff and let's check it out. So here's the full layer out of the box and we have tons of little individual pieces that can be moved around. Now first let's check out the Imagine Next Blackbeard. So this is a pretty famous pirate. It probably isn't how he looked like, but they did in this Imagine X action figure give him a black beard right there. You can see he's got these dark eyes. He of course has his pirate hat. His beard looks like it's braided or something. See if you can move it. Now it looks like it's pretty stuck to the uh, to the body here. And you can see he's got the pirate shirt here. These little frills all over the place on the cuffs. Now the arms, they can extend outwards and they can also spin all the way around and we have the feet as well. You can sit down and of course stand up. Check out the brown boots as well. On the back hand side, he's got this bright green shirt. Maybe that's supposed to help him make uh, cover things, but this is Blackbeard. We've got a few other things. This awesome alligator right here, or is this a crocodile? I'm not too sure. Look, maybe we can put Blackbeard inside the crocodile. No, he's, he's too big. Let's see, so we can have the crocodile come, maybe attack Blackbeard. Roar! Next we have this boat. This is pretty cool. So I think to get to the lair, you can't make a, drive a huge ship up here, so the, this boat is the perfect thing. And there is a uh, little knob right here that we can correlate to the hole on the bottom of his foot. So Blackbeard, of course, can stand here. Oh, he's supposed to be able to stand here. Let's try that one more time. Get stuck on there, there we go. So he can stand on the boat and move around. And this is cool because we have another protrusion here. So I'm thinking we can put a, a uh, telescope here so you can can look at it. Here we go, Blackbird. There you go. See, now he can look through and say, Land Ho! Now, another thing we have is the sword. This sword is awesome as well because it is just a individual sword. Definitely looks like the pirate sword as the Imaginex symbol right there. And we can place this in Blackbeard's hand so he can be a swashbuckling pirate and swing the sword all around. That's cool, and then you can transfer it into either of his hands. We also have this gold. So Blackbeard, once he finds gold, you know how pirates love their gold. Money, 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 money. Look at that, and it's not just any gold. It's coins and goblets and saucers and all sorts of crazy stuff here, and I think you can maybe hide it underneath right there. Last, we have these three torpedoes. One, two, and three. And we can use this cannon right here. Just gotta move it. It's stuck. Okay, and almost got it. There we go. Here is the cannon. And we can use it for the torpedo. I think there's a couple of ways to shoot the torpedoes, but this first way is the cannon. So let's get our mighty pirate Blackbeard here. He can shoot the cannon. All right, somebody's attacking your lair. What do you do? You shoot the cannon. One, two, three. Oh, you went on like one and a half. All right, Blackbeard. This time, pay attention. One, two, oh, come on! It's supposed to go on three. All right, it's one, two, three, shooter. Okay, one, two, three. Night, oh, see, now it's too fast. Oh boy, all right. Well, he is a pirate. Pirates weren't known to be the smartest people on the planet. Now let's check out the playset. You can see right below, we've got all this rock, so this has got to be close to, you know, the water. I think water's supposed to go underneath here. Here's a bridge there. I'm just gonna spin this around so you can see. Here's some more rocks there. And then on this side, look at this. Rocks, rocks, more rocks, everything like that, and a cage. So this is our first gel. I love cages, I love the gel thing, so. This is the jail here. We can put Blackbeard inside. Close it up and now, I guess he's sort of in jail, but look, he can maybe crawl out this opening right there. This is cool because you can see there's a key right there. It's pretty simple to open. And there's all sorts of room back here on this side. You can see that on that side. 
And there we go. And now if we spin it around, let me get Blackbeard out of here. So spin this around, you can see all sorts of fun stuff here. This is awesome, this is like walking the plank. I'm gonna put this, uh, we'll show that in a second. Now this is walking the plank, so here we go. Blackbeard is now on the plank and, oh, Blackbeard has fallen down. So that's a really fun feature. Then on the last, in the cage area, this is just like a wooden door. So I guess you can exit through there and then come in here, vice versa. There's some nicks in the, the wooden wall. Now one thing I wanna show before we get to the second layer is this awesome trap door. Push it down and there we go. Oh, oh boy. Okay, so let's get Blackbeard in here. I'm gonna push this down. Blackbeard, let's see if he can stand. One, two, three, and oh no! He goes down and into, oh, this is supposed to be water down here. So into the water. Now you also see this knob right here. This is for the cannon. We can try to match it up here. There we go, put it on there. Now it's kind of tough. Once this cannon is in here, it is really difficult to get out. So. So that's actually a good thing, so it won't fall away. Now the main part of the playset, this upper portion here, of course this is gonna look like Blackbeard's skeleton, skull and crossbones. He's got the beard down here, which is really just wood planks. It's made to look like wood. And he's got this giant ring in the beard. I've never seen a ring or a pierced uh, hair before because you really can't pierce it. Now this is cool, we've got this this cage right here. And is this called the, the Briggs? So anyway, we've got this cage that can open and close. And this, you can put any Imaginex character in here. Close it up and all of a sudden, no, he's in the Briggs and he's just hanging there. Nobody is going to let him out. What's also cool is look, here's some metal teeth right there. Here is this tooth. This thing opens up and down. Okay, now we've got this also patch over the eye. If you open it up, something is gonna shoot out of there. We're gonna check that out in just a sec. And then we have this feature over here. So I think we can maybe put something here like this little telescope, this, this knob here, or whatever else you have that has a hole in it that can correlate with this knob right there. Let me spin this around. And look at this, we find the anchor. This is interesting to even have an anchor. You must have stolen this off a ship or something. But it's a really cool anchor that's connected to the upper, the upper right uh, crossbone. Now on this side, you'll notice here that there is this little, this little piece here that it looks like the upside down of the ship. So when they made it, they uh, took out the hull of the ship, put it upside down, and put it in here. Now we have the top of the playset, and this is awesome. This is where everything can be activated. First, we have this upper area here where Blackbeard can stand. We can't even see his face. There we go. Let's actually turn this around so we can see Blackbeard standing. See, this is the very top of the playset. Blackbeard is standing right here. We also can put the the little scope right there so he can stand and look there. Look, this correlates exactly to his eye. This is the eye level and everything, so he can stand there, look around, just be on the top of there. And I like how this is a, a wooden a wooden hat, or it's it's made to be a, look the same as his uh, pirate hat here. We've got the skull and crossbones right there with the eye patch as well. It has the Imaginex symbol, and we've got the yellow yellow portions right here. Now there's a couple wheels we can turn. Let me put Blackbeard, if you saw the first wheel. Blackbeard on this first one, if you push him down on this wheel, this is gonna open up and then we're gonna shoot something out. So let me put the uh, torpedo inside. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go, now watch this. When I, when I uh, push him down, it'll open up and shoot out. Whoa, what in the world? Let's open it up so we can check it out ourselves. And it's crazy because it makes him look like, or the skull, makes it look like he's got this crazy red eye now. Push it down and it shoots out. But it's really cool it also opens up and shoots out at the same time. Now watch this, if I turn him one direction, it's gonna move the Briggs. It's gonna move those Briggs right there. Now if I turn it in the other direction, it's gonna move the other bone back and forth with this piece right there. So dancing back and forth, dance, 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 dance. So the Briggs have fallen off. 
Now we've got this wheel right here. And when I open and close it, it actually opens the mouth of the, uh, the skull skeleton. Now last but not least, this is really cool. When I open this up, we can open it, I can place any pirate in here. And then if I shove him in there far enough, he's gonna slide down and go into the cage. So watch this. On this side, it slides down and then he lands, look at this, into the gel and he is in there for sure. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel. Let me know in the comments which feature you saw of this Blackbeard's lair would be your favorite. And then tap or click on a picture to watch another fun video. Have a great day.